Oh, this is amazing. You've literally just found these. And revealing its long hidden secrets. Looks really cool. Secret chamber discovered in the Great Wall of China. What was hidden for centuries? Have you ever wondered what secrets the Great Wall of China might be hiding? Archaeologists discover a hidden chamber within this ancient marvel, revealing mysteries kept concealed for centuries. What if this chamber holds clues to forgotten histories and ancient discoveries? As researchers dig into the wall's depths, they even discovered relics and hidden rooms that challenge everything we know about China's past. Check out as we'll discuss these thrilling finds and reveal what secrets have been hidden in China and within the Great Wall of China. Number one, discovery of hidden door along the Great Wall of China. Recently, researchers revealed over 130 hidden doors along the Great Wall of China, one of the world's greatest wonders. These doors, discovered through detailed imaging, were designed to blend perfectly with the land around them. They weren't just for show. These secret passages were critical throughout history. Researchers would use them to slip through the wall, and sometimes they served as hidden channels for communication, trade, and even devious attacks. During the Ming Dynasty, documents show that nomadic tribes were allowed to use some of these doors to graze their cattle between areas rich with water and grass. Some doors were even large enough for two horses to pass at once. The most mysterious exits had long been a topic of speculation, but no one had ever found one until now. These exits were genius in design. From the enemy's side, they looked like part of the wall concealed with brick, but from the inside, they were hollow, allowing Chinese soldiers to smash through and launch surprise attacks when the time was right. The Great Wall wasn't just about defense. It also connected communities for trade, spying, and quick military strikes, all thanks to these cleverly hidden doors. Number two, archeologists discover ancient fort by Great Wall of China. Archaeologists recently uncovered an ancient Great Wall fort near Yulin City in northwestern China. This major discovery revealed the remains of Qingping Fort, built during the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644. Buried for hundreds of years, the fort was found to be incredibly well-preserved. Researchers discovered two courtyards and several artifacts, including carefully cleaned clay statues. The fort, built in 1475, and abandoned in the early 1700s, served mainly for peaceful purposes like trade and fairs, though it also had some military use. Located about six miles from the Great Wall, Qingping Fort was one of 36 forts along the wall. Archaeologists found 10 buildings, including homes and shops, showing soldiers and civilians lived there. They also unearthed the ruins of Xianying Palace, complete with a hall, bedrooms, and a courtyard. Qingping Fort is considered one of the best preserved forts along this section of the Great Wall, and excavations started in 2020 are ongoing. This discovery adds more depth to our understanding of the Great Wall's history. Number three, Terracotta Army. In March 1974, some farmers digging a well near Xi'an, China, stumbled upon what is now known as one of the greatest archeological discoveries ever, the Terracotta Army. At first, they found pottery pieces, but soon they unearthed a clay head, which led them to call in experts. What they uncovered was mind-blowing. Thousands of life-size terracotta soldiers made over 2,000 years ago, meant to protect Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife. Each warrior was originally painted in bright colors, but the paint quickly faded after exposure to air. Archaeologist Li Xujian and her team have worked on the site since the 1980s. They were the first to reveal that each figure was once vividly colored. Over time, more artifacts, like horses, chariots, and tools, were found. These lifelike soldiers give us a glimpse into ancient China's history and craftsmanship, while also helping boost tourism to this incredible site today. Number four, the mysterious Chinese pyramids. The Maoling Mausoleum, China's largest pyramid, is about 40 kilometers from Xi'an, reaching a height of 46.5 meters with a base stretching 240 meters. It is the tomb of Emperor Wudi of the Han Dynasty, 
who ruled for 54 years. Building this massive structure took over 50 years, beginning in the second year of Wu Di's reign. Even today, construction materials can still be found nearby, reminding us of its ancient history. Since 1949, archaeologists have uncovered bricks, tiles, pottery, and figurines, shedding light on the Han Dynasty's past. Mysterious pyramids outside Xi'an have puzzled explorers for centuries. First discovered by a Westerner in 1912, these ancient burial sites remain largely unexplored. Hidden by forests and grass, the Chinese government has restricted access to protect them. Officials say they are waiting for advanced technology to safely excavate these historic treasures, which may be up to 8,000 years old. Number 5. The Sangxingdui Ruins The Sangxingdui Ruins found in Guanghan City, Sichuan, are located near the Jianjiang River, a tributary of the Tuojiang River. This ancient site covers about 12 square kilometers, with its core area spanning 3.6 square kilometers. It's the largest prehistoric city ruins in the upper Yangtze River area. The discovery, dating back over 3,200 years, pushes human history in Sichuan from 3,000 years ago to around 5,000 years. Although the exact creators are unknown, Experts believe it may have been the ancient Shu state. The site was first found in 1929, but its significance wasn't recognized until the 1980s, when over 1,000 unique artifacts, including bronze items, human face masks, and a divine tree, were unearthed. In 2021, six new pits revealed over 500 more artifacts, including gold masks, ivory, jade, and bronze items. These discoveries continue to shed light on the mysterious Shu Kingdom, which once thrived independently from other ancient Chinese civilizations. Number 6. Mogao Caves – Dunhuang The Mogao Caves, or the Thousand Buddha Caves, are a collection of 500 temples located about 25 kilometers southeast of Dunhuang, Gansu Province, China. These caves are famous for their stunning Buddhist art, created over 2,000 years ago. The first caves were carved in 366 Common Era for meditation and worship. They later became a major pilgrimage site, adding more caves until the 14th century. The Mogao Caves are among China's top Buddhist grottos, alongside the Longmen and Yungang grottos. Carved into cliffs above the Dachuan River, the site features 492 caves with around 45,000 square meters of murals and over 2,000 sculptures. Notable finds include Cave 302, showing the Silk Road trade, and Cave 61, depicting Mount Wutai. The library cave, discovered in 1990, contained thousands of ancient manuscripts, offering a treasure trove of historical and cultural insights into ancient China and Central Asia. Number 7. The Nanhai No. 1 Shipwreck during the Southern Song Dynasty, 1127 to 1279, a merchant ship carrying valuable goods sank off the coast of Yangjiang City, Guangdong Province. For centuries, the ship lay hidden underwater. In 1987, the shipwreck was discovered and named Nanhai No. 1 by Yu Wei Chao, a pioneer in Chinese underwater archaeology. The excavation began and lasted over 30 years, revealing nearly 200,000 artifacts. In the 1960s, Advancements in underwater technology sparked interest in ancient shipwrecks. A British team found items from the wreck, but realized it wasn't their targeted ship, the Rheinberg. By 2001, after a temporary halt, Chinese archaeologists relocated the site using GPS and recovered the ship intact on December 22, 2007. The Nanhai No. 1, 22 15 meters long and 9.9 .9 meters wide, became a model for underwater heritage preservation. It revealed daily life in the Song Dynasty, including food, goods, and foreign influences. Silk proteins found in the mud confirmed the ship's role in the maritime Silk Road, even though no silk items were recovered. Number 8. The Hanging Coffins of China Hanging coffins, or Shuangguan, are a unique ancient burial tradition in China. The Bo people, an extinct ethnic group, used these coffins often carved from single pieces of wood. The coffins were placed in dramatic locations, like cliffs, caves, or natural rock ledges 
often hundreds of meters above the ground. The Bow's burial practice involved placing the deceased in wooden coffins dressed in layers of clothing and surrounded by personal items. Sadly, little is known about the Bow people themselves. They lived around the Ming Dynasty and were one of several tribes under the loose rule of Chinese central authority. Today, the hanging coffins are the main clue to understanding the Bow's culture. Studies of these coffins in 1946 and 1974 revealed details about their burial practices, but much remains a mystery. Number 9. Nanyu Jade Burial Suit Jade burial suits from ancient China are among the most luxurious burial practices ever. Crafted during the Han Dynasty, these suits were made from thousands of jade slabs sewn with gold and meant to protect the deceased in the afterlife. These elaborate suits, symbolizing immortality, were worn by royals and high-ranking officials. Jade, known for its durability and beauty, was believed to safeguard the soul and ensure eternal life. Each suit was made of small jade plates and included pieces to cover the eyes, ears, and other openings. For example, Liu Xing's suit, found in 1968, contained nearly 2,500 jade pieces and was stitched with over a kilogram of gold thread. Though jade couldn't prevent decay, it still holds a sort of timelessness, with the DNA of the deceased possibly preserved in the stones for millennia. Number 10. The Stone Carvings of Dazu The Dazu rock carvings, found about 167 kilon from Chongqing, are China's only UNESCO World Heritage Site in the city. These carvings, which include over 50,000 statues across 75 cave sites, represent the peak of Chinese cave art from the 9th to 13th centuries. The site features exquisite rock carvings at Baoding Shan, Bei Shan, Nan Shan, Ximen Shan, and Shijuan Shan. Started during the early Tang Dynasty, the Da Zhu carvings thrived through the Song Dynasty, showcasing a unique blend of Buddhist, Taoist, and Confucian themes. The largest cluster at Beishan spans 300 meters and has over 10,000 carvings. Baoding Shan, in particular, is famous for its 500-meter-long U-shaped gorge, filled with nearly 10,000 statues depicting tantric Buddhism and daily life. The carvings are known for their grand scale and detailed depiction of religious and daily life themes. Number 11. Discovery of Golden Camel Archaeologists recently uncovered an ancient silver camel in the number one pit of Emperor Qin Shi Huang's mausoleum, following the discovery of a golden camel in December 2019. This mausoleum, listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987, is in Shanxi Province, China. The number one pit is the largest of the three pits around the emperor's tomb, but most remain unexplored. The golden camel, previously found in West Asia, hints at early trade between China and that region during the Qin Dynasty, 221 before Christ, 206 before Christ. The silver camel, still attached to some bronzeware, is the earliest camel figure found in the tomb, and its exact size and weight are yet to be determined. These discoveries suggest that cultural exchanges along the Silk Road began earlier than previously thought. Additionally, over 20 ancient tombs have been uncovered near the mausoleum, revealing pottery, bronze, jade, and more, including a gold camel statue. This finding indicates early trade connections and led to identifying a new category of terracotta warriors. Number 12. The Yin Ruins, Anyang Yin Ruin is found on the west bank of the Yuan River in Anyang, Henan Province. It was the capital of the Shang Dynasty from the late 14th century before Christ until it fell to the Zhou Dynasty. Originally known as North Meng, it became known as Yin Ruin over time. In 1899, Wang Yirong discovered ancient oracle bone inscriptions at Xiaotun village in Yin Ruin. These inscriptions, later studied by experts like Luo Zhenyu and Wang Guowei, confirm the site as the ruins of the Shang capital. Excavations between 1928 and 1937 uncovered a burial ground with seven royal tombs, sacrificial objects, and over 17,000 oracle bones. 
The 24 square kilometers site reveals a well-organized society with palaces, temples, workshops, and burial grounds. Among the finds are over 150,000 oracle inscriptions and the Simuwu tripod, the largest bronze artifact from the Shang dynasty. These discoveries highlight the advanced craftsmanship and rich culture of the late Shang dynasty. Number 13, Yinshu. Yinshu, near Anyang City in Henan Province, is the ancient capital of the late Shang dynasty, 1300, 1046 before Christ. This site highlights the prosperity and achievements of early Chinese culture. It includes the palace and royal ancestral shrines area with over 80 house foundations and the tomb of Fu Hao, the only royal tomb from this period that remains intact. The discoveries at Yin Shu, such as beautifully crafted burial items and oracle bones, show the advanced skills of Shang artisans and offer insights into one of the earliest writing systems. The site covers 414 hectares, with a buffer zone of 720 hectares. It reveals elements of early civilization, including timber structures, shrines, and a flood control system. Yinzhu's layout influenced future Chinese capitals and provided valuable information about Shang Dynasty life, technology, and art. Number 14. The Longyu Caves The Longyu Caves, near Xianbeikun village in Zhejiang Province, China, are a fascinating group of 24 artificial caverns carved into sandstone. Discovered by chance in 1992, when local farmers drained ponds and uncovered five large caverns and 19 smaller ones, these caves are a major mystery. They were built around 2,000 years ago during the late Shang Dynasty, but their purpose still needs to be discovered. The caverns vary in size, some up to 34 meters long and 20 meters high and they have unique shapes and impressive features. Each cave has a single entrance and a system to manage water, including drainage channels and water traps. The caves are oriented to maximize sunlight and have sloping walls to prevent ceiling collapse, although theories about their use abound. From ancient quarries to ceremonial sites, there's little concrete evidence to explain why or who built them. Artifacts like clay pots from the Western Han Dynasty suggest they were used long ago, but their true purpose remains a mystery. Number 15. Megalithic Stones at Yangshan Quarry The Yangshan Quarry near Nanjing, China, is an ancient stone quarry known for its gigantic, unfinished stele. Dating back to the Six Dynasties, this quarry has been used for centuries to provide stone for buildings and monuments in Nanjing. The quarry is on Yangshan Mountain, about 15 to 20 kilometer from Nanjing's city wall and Ming Shaoling Mausoleum. Most of the quarrying took place during the Ming Dynasty. In the early 15th century, the Yongle Emperor Zhu Di commissioned a massive stele to honor his father, the Hongwu Emperor. Artisans worked for 300 days on three huge stone blocks, the stele's head, body, and base. If completed, it would have been 73 meters tall, the tallest stone structure in China. However, the project was abandoned due to the difficulty of moving the massive stones, and a smaller tablet was used instead. The Yangshan Quarry is now a protected cultural site. Number 16. The Baigong Pipes In the remote mountains of Qinghai Province, China, there's a puzzling discovery known as the Baigong Pipes. Found in the late 90s by United States scientists, these pipes aren't your usual plumbing. They're embedded in a harsh, isolated area on Mount Baigong. Some pipes are as small as a toothpick, while others are up to a meter wide. They go deep into the mountain and even connect to a nearby saltwater lake. The composition of these pipes is mysterious, with some material unidentifiable and the rest a mix of iron and silicon dioxide. The Beijing Institute of Geology found that these pipes could be around 150,000 years old, long before known human civilization. This has sparked theories ranging from ancient advanced civilizations to extraterrestrial involvement. Some skeptics think 
they're a geological oddity. Despite many theories, the true origin and purpose of the Baigong pipes remain unknown, fueling our curiosity about the unexplained. Number 17. The Longmen Grottoes The Longmen Grottoes are a stunning collection of Buddhist art from the late Northern Wei and Tang dynasties near Luoyang in Henan Province, China. Carved into steep limestone cliffs along the Yi River, these grottoes stretch over one kilometer and house over 110,000 statues, 60 stupas, and 2,800 inscriptions. The carvings began in the late 5th century and continued into the mid-8th century. The earliest caves, like Guyangdong and the Binyang Caves, feature large Buddha figures. The Yao Fangdong Cave, with its 140 inscriptions about medical treatments, shows the evolution of artistic style over 150 years. The Tang Dynasty sculptures, especially in Fengxianzi Cave, represent the peak of this art form. The two main styles, Central China style and Great Tang style, greatly influence China and other Asian countries, showcasing the rich heritage of Buddhist art. Number 18. Jinsha, the most shocking archaeological find of the century. Jinsha is an exciting archaeological site in Chengdu, Sichuan Province, China. Discovered by accident on February 8, 2001, during construction work, it quickly became famous for its amazing artifacts. The site, listed as a United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization World Cultural Heritage Tentative List, is known for its treasures, including bronze, jade, stone, and ivory objects. Before the big find in 2001, smaller digs in the area had already suggested a significant ancient civilization, dating back to the late Shang and early Western Zhou periods. The Jinsha site is thought to be connected to the earlier Sangxingdui culture, which mysteriously vanished around 1100 to 1200 before Christ. Some scientists believe a massive earthquake might have caused a landslide that changed the water flow, pushing the civilization to Jinsha. Sangxing Dui was already famous for its unusual bronze masks and other artifacts found in pits, proving that this ancient culture was highly advanced. The discoveries at Jinsha continue to captivate experts and enthusiasts alike. Number 19. The Shimao Ruins For a long time, people thought the ancient stone walls at the edge of the Muas Desert in Shanxi Province were part of the Great Wall. But when archaeologists, including Zhou Yong Sun, looked closer, they found something much older and more amazing, the lost city of Shimao, which dates back to 2300 before Christ. Shimao was a grand city with massive walls, a huge pyramid, and thousands of valuable artifacts. This discovery was surprising because it showed that a complex civilization existed in China long before the Central Plains were known to be the center of ancient Chinese civilization. The site also revealed stunning sculptures and evidence of human sacrifice. Shimao's age, nearly 4,300 years, predates the Great Wall by 2,000 years and shows a different path of urban development in ancient China. Number 20, 3,000-year-old ancient tomb discovered in China. Recently, archaeologists uncovered fascinating relics from 45 tombs dating back to the Western Zhou Dynasty, 1046-771 before Christ, in Baoji, Shanxi Province. These finds include jade, agate, pottery, and bronze artifacts, offering a glimpse into ancient Chinese craftsmanship. One intriguing discovery is a bronze Xuanji used for astronomy, which resembles earlier jade versions from the Dewenku culture. This suggests a cultural link between these ancient civilizations. The excavation also revealed a jade kong, a ceremonial object connected to the Liangzhu culture in Zhejiang. These findings illustrate how ancient Chinese culture spread and evolved. The Baoji tombs were once a significant cemetery for the Western Zhou people, showing influences from other cultures, like the Taosi culture, known for its pottery. 
in a related find, a large Western Zhou Dynasty cemetery was discovered by chance in Kishan County. The site, featuring pyramid-shaped tombs and a potential royal tomb, could provide new insights into early Chinese civilization. Number 21. The Tarim Mummies The Tarim Mummies are ancient remains found in the Tarim Basin in Xinjiang, China. They date from 1800 before Common Era to the early centuries before Common Era. Recently, some were dated as far back as 2100 before Common Era. These early inhabitants lived around 2000 before Common Era in a once freshwater area now turned desert. A 2021 study showed that these mummies had a mix of ancient North Eurasian and ancient Northeast Asian ancestry, but no Western steppe ancestry. This group lived in isolation and adapted to their environment, thriving in the changing river oases of the Taklamakan Desert. Later, mummies from the Iron Age, first millennium before Common Era, show similarities to the Scythian Pazaric culture, suggesting they could be ancestors of the Tocharians. The mummies were naturally preserved due to the dry saline soil and cold winters, not through artificial methods. They were found in cemeteries around the Taklamakan Desert, a key region for interaction between Western and Eastern Eurasia. Number 22. The Patala Palace's Hidden Chambers The Patala Palace in Lhasa, Tibet, is a stunning fortress with a rich history. Built in 1645 by the 5th Dalai Lama, it served as his winter residence until 1959. Now a museum and a world heritage site, the palace is named after Mount Potalaka, the mythical home of the Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara. The palace, perched on Mapo Ri or Red Hill, is massive, measuring 400 meters east-west and 350 meters north-south. It stands 117 meters tall, with 13 stories and over 1,000 rooms. Its thick walls, some up to 5 meters at the base, are reinforced with copper to withstand earthquakes. The palace is famous for its hidden rooms and secret chambers, which are believed to house sacred relics and treasures. These spaces add to its mystery. The Patala Palace symbolizes Tibetan Buddhism, and it is full of historical and spiritual significance. 